Um, <laughs> so <clears throat> about seven years ago, our house was bought by our landlord, our current landlord named Henry Walser, and he owns a large funeral home just on the block. And he bought the whole house, uh, the whole block, uh, telling us that we he wanted us for, for uh, long-term rentals. Um, uh, about a year after that, we got a notice of rezone uh, request through the city council. So we found out he's trying to demo evict us for a parking lot. Uh, it's been a long fight for the last six years. It's gone back and forth. We've fought him um, off and on. But this last March, he uh, got approval from the city of Kitchener, who have no idea about uh, tenant, <laughs> tenant rights whatsoever, uh, for his rezone. So now he can essentially bulldoze the entire block for a parking lot. Um, so over the years, Walser has manipulated and bullied residents in these three buildings that are on this block. I've seen them come and go. He will tell people that he has permission to demolish. This is, you know, as soon as he started to own the buildings uh, and they will move out and he'll move new people in at a higher rent. So I was prepared and we were prepared to fight fairly early on. Um, he does not know anything about landlord tenant law. He will lie to his residents, uh, the residents of his building. Um, we are still only living in our home right now because we saw him coming and because we fought him. We were originally supposed to be out in March. In November, he came to us with an N13 and told us if we signed it, he would give us some money. Um, we went to the city council. Unfortunately, city council voted against us, but we're still fighting him. I think that if we had a tenant union behind us when we started a fight, we may have been able to sway the city council more in our favor. It was a pretty tight uh, split, um, but we didn't win. Uh, but we still have options because of the landlord tenant rights that we do have. And because of ACORN, uh, we do need more rights, though. Uh, the, a lot of the rights coming down or that the tampering with rights coming down from Doug Ford are really scary and they will definitely hamper our ability to fight to continue to fight and the, the things that we did, uh, you know, before when we were fighting our landlord. Um, right now, we are forming, myself and a few people locally, we're forming a, a union, a tenants union in Waterloo Region. We have about a third of our population is renters, which is huge, and I don't think most of the city council knew that either. Uh, and we are we are in the top 10 for rent evictions and demo evictions, uh, skyrocketing rents, as, as a lot of the people here will tell you that they're also facing. Um, and it's become clear that even tenants don't know their rights. A lot of people just believe their landlord when they tell them they have to move because there's, an, there's a power imbalance. Uh, we want to empower people with the union here in Waterloo Region to resist housing injustice uh, so they can help themselves and each other because this is not going to go away unless we fight it. I am also a climate activist and organizer locally in Waterloo Region. So having my landlord demolish my home for a parking lot is especially hurtful. And housing is part of climate justice. We need dense housing in order to reduce emissions. So housing justice is climate justice, and it's a part, it's a part of an attack on broader human rights uh, alongside our planetary crisis that includes the climate crisis. We need to fight, we need to fight for tenants' rights not only here in Waterloo Region, but everywhere. So with that in mind, I would like to invite folks to our first meeting for Acorn Waterloo Region, because I believe that collectively we can build our future together, not only for tenants' rights, but also for climate and all kinds of other rights that intersect. Uh, we have a meeting this May 25th at 6.30 p.m. about how you can join Waterloo Region Acorn. We're also petitioning at the Kitchener Farmers Market this Saturday, May 20th. So if you want to join, come see us there. We're going to be there um, both times. So we're looking forward to having you and fighting for each other. Thank you. And on to Aiden.